Good morning and welcome to The Daily Word. My name is John Robbins. We're thankful that you're a part of our time together once again. I want to read a passage of scripture today from Psalm 145, but I first want to tell you a quick story about an experience I had in my first year of seminary. In fact, my, in fact it was one of the first days that I was in seminary. I was talking with a woman who was a first year student along with me, and she said to me, what is your image of God? I said, I'm not sure I understand the question. She said, what do you think about God? And I said, I think God is a loving and carefree God who longs to be in relationship with us. And she said, I fear God. I'm terrified of God. I see God as vindictive and spiteful. I said, well, how do you think you came to that kind of a decision? She said, through my father who said that to me and proved it by how he treated me. I always remember having that conversation with that woman. I've never seen her since we graduated from seminary. I'm not sure whatever happened to her, but I hope her understanding of God has changed. That somewhere along the way, particularly through a relationship with Jesus Christ, she began to understand a God who loves her and cares about her, not a God who is ready to strike her down at any turn. So we read today from Psalm 145 these words about God. The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love. The Lord is good to all and his compassion is over all that he has made. I think sometimes if we are not careful, we can have an idea that God is ready to strike us down. If something bad happens in life, it must be God's way of getting back at us for something we did or something we've left undone. I just want to remind us that we believe in a God who is slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love, a God who longs to be in relationship with us, longs for us to desire to be in relationship with God. So the last thing we should believe in is a God who's ready to strike us down at any turn. Jesus Christ proved clearly that God loves us, God longs to be in relationship with us, and God is patient with us, ready to extend grace and mercy and love and forgiveness at every opportunity. So we remind ourselves today of the responsibility we have to understand who God really is. And the primary way we understand God is through Jesus Christ. This man of great love and compassion is an example of who God is for all of us. Have a great day.